Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a houseplant tour. I have quite a few, so I'm going to try to keep it short. Also, I'm kind of getting used to the really extreme summer weather coming back because um, living in Ohio, we have a very rough winter and a very rough summer. So my plants are kind of like, oh my gosh, right now. So they do not look the best, but they are hanging in there until I can figure out a good balance between what they need, I guess. I also wanted to mention that I know there's a lot going on right now in the world. And while I do have a very small channel, I think it's important for anyone to use their voice in any way. So in the description box, I'm going to have some links for donation areas that you can go to. I also wanted to add that in the description, I have a link to a video that is donating their AdSense to um, different uh, money raising aspects within the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, so if any of you do not have the money or resources to go to a protest, that is probably a really awesome option for you. So that will be in the description and I really encourage you to go watch it. Thank you. Or um, articles that you can read to be educated on the Black Lives Matter movement. I myself have been to two protests. They were very eye-opening and peaceful. So. Yeah, um, I figured I might as well say something about that since I am doing a video. I'm not just gonna make a video and act like everything's fine. So let's get into it then. Houseplant tour. For the majority of this video, the camera's gonna be facing obviously outwards towards the plant. So you're not gonna see my face very often. I don't really know how to show them any other way, but if anyone has any suggestions or if that's like bothers anyone, please let me know. Without further ado, I'm gonna get started in my office slash reptile type room. So it's kind of messy in here, but I believe this is a Manjula pothos. It's either a Manjula or it's a Marble Queen. Or it might be something else, but I believe it's a Manjula pothos. That's what the tag said, but then again, I did buy it from Lowe's and Lowe's is not um, super credible, I guess. Next up, we have my Brazil philodendron. These are very similar to pothos in the way that they're like super easy to take care of. And they're also very like interesting looking. Like the leaves have a neon pattern as well as like a deep green. So they are very appealing and they're very easy to take care of some water on that leaf. I just watered them. Up next we have this very very sad fern. I'm so bad at taking care of ferns. I don't know if it's the area I live or what but they always get super like leggy and kind of like wilty. I don't I don't understand and they turn brown but like if anyone has any fern tips, please let me know. I believe this is a Boston fern. It didn't have a name on it when I got it, so I'm not completely sure, but she doesn't look too hot. This is a pothos that is reviving from being taken out of one of our reptiles cages. It was just given water a little bit ago, so it should perk up shortly. But if you know pothos, you know they um, are pretty much indestructible, so it'll be back to normal in no time. This is a golden pothos, by the way. This is a Sansevieria of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what type it is, but it's braided and I got it for my birthday from one of my friends. Um, I, it looks like Cylindrica, but I'm not completely sure. These two are African violets that are losing their flowers. Um, this one has some cinnamon on it from when I was trying to do something with fungus gnats, but unfortunately that didn't really do anything but I think I have that situation under control. At least I hope, but we'll see. Like I said, a little sad. Anyways, this is my two spring cactus. Uh, they both had different colored flowers, but they were just watered today. So 
I'm gonna see what's going on with them, but they like highlights, so I'm figuring they'll just perk right back up, but we'll see what happens. And this is my Neon Pothos, which is one of my favorite because it is big and beautiful and it is very easy to take care of. This is my Crimson Queen, which is also very easy to take care of. And I got this one because I do have a Crimson Princess and I wanted the Queen to go with it. And this is a Pearls and Jade Pothos. Um, the Pothos varieties are kind of hard to get down, but I believe this is a Pearls and Jade. Now we're in our bedroom. This is my tea plant, which I think was over fertilized when I first got it because it had so much brown damage. Um, I'm not completely sure if it should be cut off or not, but the new growth it has is like really awesome. So it's really pink, really bright pink. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in terms of maintenance for this guy, but I'm gonna figure that out shortly. This is my Monstera. <laughs> okay, so I got this one from like Home Depot and it was $10 and it looks absolutely insane, right? Like it's everywhere. But I cut off some of the bad leaves and I got a bunch of new leaves in that look pretty like great, honestly. Like they're very, very pretty. The only thing is it's so like combobbled down there that I don't really know how to join them all together to make them look good. That one's like the best one. And back here, <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but it's leaning so bad. Um, this is actually my boyfriend's plant. I think this is the only plant that he has. He's had it since we've been dating, so yeah, I take care of it. <laughs> so. And I'm also not sure what this is. I'm really bad with succulents and cactus names, but um, I thought that one was cute. Uh, this is a Sansevieria Moonshine. I got this at a local plant nursery for like, I think it was $7. I think this is an Echevera. Is that how you say it? Of some sort? Uh, again, not exactly sure. I know I got it from Walmart and I dropped it and it <laughs> broke half the things off and they all grew back. This is a purple passion. Okay, now purple passion is really weird. It like, I don't know, it wants to die on me all the time, but then it like won't let go, you know? So <laughs> I don't know what it wants from me because I've tried moving it pretty much everywhere. And this is another sort of succulent. I'm not sure, but this one's had the most luck with growing and it's even blooming. And it blooms in little orange flowers, which I'm sure you can see there. And then we have this mother-in-law tongue. <laughs> Valentine's Day blend. That Matthew got me for Christmas and it was $15 at Lowe's. Lowe's has like the best prices for huge freaking plants. And this is where the bulk of my plants are. Most of these ones in here are doing pretty well, but I'm still adjusting. Over here, we have a Raven ZZ that you probably saw in my other video. I have a Spiral Junkus. This one's doing a little funny. Um, I think maybe it was underwatering, so I gave it a good drink today and we're gonna see what happens. This is a money tree, which I'm really mad because I broke these the other day, but I'm growing it from a single little um, stem here. They usually have multiple, but we kind of rescued this plant and like figured out a way to like rehab it. This is a caladium, uh, what was it called? I'm not exactly sure what this one was called. By the way, if you see gnats, we have a fungus gnat problem that I've been treating, so that's what that is. Then we have another caladium, which had a huge leaf on it, but unfortunately it broke off. It was shipped here with that huge leaf on, so I can't expect much from it. I know this one is a Marie Moore. I think that's how you say it. Caladium, which is technically a more uh, rare one. This is an aloe vera, which I've had for quite some time. Um, we've chopped pieces off of it. It doesn't look great, but she does her job, so. 
This is a Calathea White Fusion. Um, it does look a little uh, funky right now, but again, I'm still kind of doing a learning curve with these guys. This is a Rattlesnake, um, Calathea 2, I believe, and it has some browning tips, but overall she looks good. This is one of my favorite plants too. I just think the patterning on it is so cool. Plus it's purple underneath, which is awesome in my opinion. Next we have a Schifflera. Um, I have quite a few of these. I have like three or four. And the reason we have so many is because they go well in our chameleon cages and our other reptile cages. Also, sorry if the air conditioning is really loud. I'm trying to talk over it. And this is a Alocasia poly. Um, I had a lot of issues with this one when I first got it. As you can probably see me ripping off the leaves. Um, they just kept dying. <laughs> but it seems to be doing well now. So, um, thanks for coming back, I guess. That is another um, golden pot. Or maybe it's Cebu. I think it's golden though. This is from when I was watering earlier. I just have some string of dolphins that were propagating here. Not sure how exactly they're doing. Have some string of hearts that seem to be rooting pretty okay. There's new growth on it, so I think it's doing okay. And this is a, I think it still has a tag on it, Hawthornia Turgida. I don't know. I just thought it looked cool, so. This is a split rock. And these are two lithops back here. And this is actually a lithop that has like two on it, which was kind of cool. They're down here because I was watering them and they needed a drain spot. This is a Syngonium, also known as an arrowhead. This is just one of the basic ones that you can find pretty much anywhere. It's not one of the um, fusions or variations. I really like this one though. It's very easy to grow and it grows very quickly. This is a ogre ear succulent. I'm not sure what the scientific name is for that, but um, I like the succulents that look weird, so. I'm not completely sure what this one is, and that's the case with all of these here. I, again, I don't really know succulent names. And this is a jelly bean plant. Um, it's also a sort of succulent. I believe this is called a zebra plant or a Hawthornia zebra. Not completely sure. And this is a string of pearls, which I've had for a few months. And when I first got it, it didn't have anything going over the sides. It was all inside. So it's grown significantly since I've gotten it. And I love her. This is a bear paw succulent. Again, I like the weird succulents. <laughs> so it's got little fingers in here, which is really cute. Now this one, I have a cool story about this one, if you care at all. So this is a watermelon peperomia and I got this for my mom for Christmas and it was a huge like hanging basket full of them and this was the first uh, plant I ever propagated and mind you Christmas was like seven months ago <laughs> so I got this and I really wanted one so I just chopped a couple pieces off of them and stuck them in water <laughs> and none of them grew roots except for one of them and it was this one and it grew roots and I was like, okay, let's put it in soil and see what happens. So I put it in soil and I waited there for like four months. And finally, literally like yesterday I checked and it has a little baby in there. And I'm really, really happy about that because I love this plant. They're so pretty and they're so sparkly. And up here we have some Fetonia. This is a pink Fetonia, pink nerve plant, whatever you want to call it. They're very dramatic, but they have done well for me. So they just faint and I give them a drink. This is a red nerve plant or red Fetonia. And this is a Hoya Crimson Princess. I got this one from Lowe's for like 10 bucks. 
which is a freaking steal. It's definitely my favorite that I have right now. Another succulent, which I'm not exactly sure what type it is. I believe that is called child's necklace or candy necklace. Not completely sure, but it's in my pterodactyl planter, so it's cute. I have some cuttings over here. I have a moss ball. <laughs> And I have this rabbit foot fern, which is the only fern I've been able to keep inside that hasn't like died. But anyways, they call it a rabbit foot fern. Yeah, sorry about the gnats. Again, they got treated today. Rabbit foot fern, furry, uh, ergo roots. I think it should be called a tarantula fern, but that's just my opinion. I have some air plants. I have two in there and I have two in here. And outside I have some seeds that we were attempting to grow. Um, I have a calocasia out there and a sweet potato vine, which are probably frying in the sun. I have a dracaena tree, a variegated chiflera, some ferns that are doing horrible and I was honestly sick of them so I didn't want them in my house anymore. And then I have a panda plant, which I've had the longest. I've had that one for like four years now and it's gone absolutely huge since I first had it. When I first got it, it was probably about the size of like the very tip top of that right there. I should also mention that I have a peace lily and a couple syngonium variations that are kind of like in rehab, I guess, in my bathroom but um, I didn't really want to show them because they are in rehab, <laughs> so they don't look great. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched it all the way through, thank you very much. I very much so appreciate it, very. <laughs> um, leave a like and subscribe, and also turn on the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I upload. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Check the description below for some information on Black Lives Matter. Get out there and protest if you can. Make some donations, watch some black creators. Yeah, thank you. See you guys in the next one.